What better way to celebrate the new year than by recognizing 2016 as another fantastic year for gaming? There were plenty of great games, but only a few knockout hits. That being said, this list is nothing to scoff at, as every single one of these titles had ample competition and narrowing them down to just 10 proved extremely difficult. That's also not to say that there weren't some absolutely stellar gaming experiences that released this year. We'll be ranking games based on their critical acclaim, fan excitement and reception, sales, and overall impact on the industry. So let's get started. Here is Screen Geek's Top 10 Video Games of 2016. Starting off our list is a game that had been in development for over a decade, so it's fitting it's number 10 on our list, Final Fantasy XV. Initially teased all the way back in 2006, Final Fantasy XV was initially part of the Fabula Nova Crystallis collection, and at the time went by the title Final Fantasy XIII Verses. It was to exist within a similar lore structure as Final Fantasy XIII and would be directed by acclaimed Kingdom Hearts director Tetsuya Nomura. Through its tumultuous development cycle, it changed directors and even platforms. However, fans were relieved to hear that although maybe not perfect, it was well worth the wait. It's a beautiful game with great art direction, a solid cast of characters, and stands as a welcomed revitalization of the franchise. Just be sure you check out some of the extended media material if you want a full grasp of the story. 20 years later, and we still love catching them all. Pokemon Sun and Moon makes it to number 9 on our list and proves that 7 generations later, Nintendo still has a few Pokeballs on its belt to keep the franchise fresh. Bringing back the usual suspects, such as a new region, new monsters, and new legendaries, Sun and Moon also countered its slightly stale formula by introducing a new Pokedex design, an overhaul to the gym format, improvements to the battle system, and those rad and weird refreshes of Generation 1 monsters. With a colorful style that never takes itself too seriously, the game really feels like a welcome vacation compared to previous iterations. Still fun and still challenging for new and returning fans alike, Pokemon Sun and Moon has us seeing stars. Number 8 on our list is one of the most visceral, chaotic, and bloody games we've played since, well, the original. So it's fitting that the long-rumored rebirth of this franchise didn't have a 4 attached to its name and simply went by Doom. Taking the series back to its roots, Doom is a frenzied tour de force through the endless waves of more and more imposing demons straight out of hell. The difficulty ramp is just about perfect, testing your skills and reflexes as you find yourself constantly switching to whatever weapon has ammo left in your arsenal. This game both makes you feel extremely powerful, while simultaneously making you feel, pardon the phrase, like you don't have a chance in hell. It's blood pumping, exhausting, and an absolute thrill to play. The only reason this game is towards the bottom of our list is because of its weak, often floaty feeling multiplayer component, which is such a letdown because the single player campaign is damn near perfect. Dishonored 2 comes in at 7 and is exactly the type of sequel fans were hoping for. Taking place 15 years after the first game, you have two main protagonists to choose from, each with their own unique set of skills that allow for fun gameplay variations depending on who you choose. Even more so than the first game, the expertly crafted levels are a joy to navigate, with each chapter offering gameplay-altering changes to keep things feeling fresh. One level you may be timing your moves through a dust storm, and the next you're in a mansion where the walls and floors can be moved with the pull of a lever. Very few sequels improve on so many elements when their predecessor was already a solid game, but Dishonored 2 earns its place on our list as a superbly refined entry for the series. At number 6 is The Witness, which is a puzzle game distilled to its most essential ingredients and served on a vivid platter. Colored with soft palettes and simple textures, this deserted island is a beautiful place to spend your time contemplating its over 500 unique puzzles and abundance of secrets. As both homage to and refinement of the best in puzzle gaming, The Witness boasts an open approach to progression, a finely tuned learning curve, and a complete omission of item collection, circumventing many of the age-old ills of puzzle gaming, creating one of the best experiences to date. Very rarely does a racing game make it this high on the top 10 list, but that's just testament to how amazing Turn 10's Forza Horizon 3 is. Usually a good off year for the series, the Forza Horizon team decided not to settle for second fiddle, quite possibly eclipsing their critically acclaimed brother in almost every way and adding a component the last couple of Xbox One entries have left out, fun. Every race, stunt, and event is there to serve this one purpose, 
couple that with an impressive Australian Outback setting with diverse environments, the ability to import your own tunes through Microsoft's Groove, a slightly more arcadey riff on the mainline series spot on car handling, a robust selection of customizable cars, and you have a racing game that prioritizes fun over just about anything else. And that's a good thing. They even have a snow expansion that released just in time for the holidays. Even if you're not a huge racing fan, this may be the game that changes that. Number four is Titanfall 2. When the original game launched in 2014, it was really only criticized for two things. It lacked any sort of real single player campaign, and the multiplayer didn't have the most in-depth progression system. Fast forward to 2016, and you have a darn near perfect first person shooter that remains one of the most fluid and responsive shooters in the genre. Which makes sense, because these are the same masterminds who brought us the original Modern Warfare, a game that helped shift the entire industry. The gameplay introduces new gadgets, like the grappling hook that makes navigating the maps feel like you're the most badass soldier in the galaxy. Unlike the first game, we're also treated to a fun sci-fi romp through multiple planets with a fairly engaging story that at its heart is about the relationship between a titan and its pilot. What stands out with this campaign though is the uniqueness of each level and without spoiling any of the fun, how surprise gameplay alterations in each mission make you feel like a kid in a toy store. There will be more than one moment where you'll have to remind yourself to wipe that stupid grin off your face. Is there a genre Blizzard can't perfect? All the way up at number three is Overwatch. Born from the ashes of their failed Titan project, Overwatch takes the aggressive MOBA FPS genre and adds some much needed personality, heart, and finesse. With a roster of characters that are unique, memorable, and balanced, players can easily find a hero that matches their style of play and get an interesting backstory to go with it and bonus points for diversity. Already a solid package from day one, Blizzard has kept players coming back with interesting ways of introducing new characters, seasonal content that brings in new modes of play, and the never-ending satisfaction of loot, skins, and leaderboards. It's been less than a year since the game was released, yet it already boasts a huge community following, and Blizzard has been fantastic at releasing all sorts of other media and support, from comics to digital shorts. Others have tried imitating this winning recipe, but no one can beat Blizzard at their own game. From the creators of Limbo comes our number two entry on our list, Inside. The less we say, the better. Inside is a puzzle platform adventure game where you play a young boy trying to not get himself killed. As you progress through this sometimes terrifying, dystopian world and mingle among its mindless denizens, you'll begin to piece together its bleak narrative through environmental clues and puzzles. The game can be finished in a single sitting, but we aren't lying when we say it's one of the most satisfying, unnerving, and engrossing games we've had the pleasure of ever playing. You won't be disappointed with this masterpiece. Side note, we also have a gameplay video up for the first 30 minutes from the folks at Mikey Sucks at Gaming. Granted, he sorta sucks at it, and we don't recommend this being the first time you see this game, but it's there. I am a man of fortune, and I must seek my fortune. At number one is Uncharted 4. This is one of those standout games that if you didn't see it place at number two, you probably knew it was our pick for game of the year. Took a long time for him to get out of this game. Yeah, he's meant for this life. Delivering one of the most engaging sets of characters, narratives, and well-rounded campaigns in gaming, Uncharted 4 is just a gift to play. Whisking you away from one exotic location to another with a solid story that is carried by some of the best voice acting performances to ever grace gaming. If you're done lying to me, then you should stop lying to yourself. With technology where it's at, most of us at Screen Geek care more about art direction than pure technical triumph but we'd be remiss not to point out just how amazing this game looks. The graphics when this game came out last spring were just phenomenal and still hold up as one of the best looking games this year with some of the best character animations and motion capture in the industry. Naughty Dog continues to prove they're at the top of their game and their closing out of one of gaming's most beloved franchises does so with both confidence and finesse. It was a fantastic year to be a gamer, and there were twice as many great games than we had entries on this list. But let us know how we did, and what your favorite games were in the comments. Was there a great game that we completely missed? Maybe revisiting the world of Skyrim was your highlight. Well, that's it. If you like this video, give us a like. And if you'd like to see more content from Screen Geek, subscribe and stay up to date as we grow this channel to include all sorts of things you can geek out about. Until next time, internets.